Hi guys, it's Wiley here. <clears throat> Sorry about my throat. Frog in the throat. Um, and today you join me for a haul video. Um, I had to go over to Birmingham today to get some tickets for a uh, football match I'm going to on the 18th. I'm going to see the Mighty Blues, Birmingham City versus Newcastle. I'm really looking forward to it. I haven't been to the football for a long time. Um, so um, go with my, my couple of brother-in-laws and a couple of other family members that we haven't met yet. Well, I haven't met yet, uh, which is really cool. Um, from Anna's side of the family. I'm going to slurp a tea because this frog is doing my head in. I bought this really natty um, onesie. <clears throat> now, I'm not one for onesies, but this was a bargain. This was reduced from £35 to £19, which is a bargain. I wish I'd got the bigger size, because a little bit snug. But, as Anna said, it'll give me an incentive to lose a bit of weight. So anyway, <clears throat> while I was in Birmingham, I thought, right, I'm going to either gonna have a look around, see what's about, see what I can pick up. Um, I was going to go to the Nostalgia Comics, but didn't get there because we had to get back in time for Anna to get back to work. So we had a look in Oasis, which is my other go-to place for figures and what have you. And I had a look around and found, the first thing I found was this bad boy, um, reduced from 20 quid to 15. Um, basically, it's the T-1000 from Terminator Gen Genesis. Now, I haven't seen Terminator Genesis. I don't think I really want to watch Terminator Genesis, but I've seen this figure and it's a pretty badass figure. It's Necker. Um, it's got two bodies, one bullet holes, one thing. It's got a couple of other different uh, accessories with it, which is really cool. There's a couple of other ones to, that you can get with it. Um, it's got the description on the back. But yeah, so for, for, for 15 quid, I thought it was a really good figure. Um, so yeah, that was a bargain, that was. Um, now, you know, you guys know how much I love my... Um, Living Dead Dolls, I've got Michael right there. Come on, finger. Wrong one. No. Wrong way. Come on, finger. Do the right way. No. There he is. I got them in the end. There's Michael right there. <coughs> so, um, he had a couple of different uh, Living Dead Dolls. He had the Beetlejuice one, uh, the one with the um, carousel on his hat. Really, really cool. Um, I think it was 50 quid, which is not bad. Um, he also had the two pinheads, uh, um, the red variant and the black variant. So I said, oh, can I have a chance to have a look at the both of them? So I got both of them down, had a look at the red, had a look at the black. Um, the red one, yeah, I, the fact that it's, it's an exclusive, you know, and, and what have you, yeah, that's pretty cool. But to be honest with you, it looked a bit weird red. Um, and it was like um, 48 quid, which which is not bad. Um, so I decided to get plump for the black one. Well, I'll show you that one in a minute. Because that's the pit of resistance. Also, so I picked up the pinhead and I picked up the other one. Anyway, I was just about to leave. Got talking about the other Living Dead dolls. I said, "Oh, he said, oh, do you know about the um, Clockwork Orange one coming?" I said, "Yeah, that's going to be really cool." I said about the Harley Quinn one. He said, "Yeah, we should be getting that in." I asked him about Sam, and he said, "Yeah, we are getting Sam in." So I was like, oh, "That's really cool, nice one." And I said, "Oh, the one, the ones I'm really looking for are the um, Ash ones, the um, Evil Dead ones, the Dead Out one, and the normal, you know, the normal Ash one." He said, "Well, actually, I've got them here," and I was like, "Oh." So I look at both of them, and the really cool thing about it is they were both the same price, uh, 45 quid, which is not bad. When you think, if, if I bought them online, I'd have to pay for postage and packaging online, and that would bump the price up quite a lot. So to get them for £45 in my hand, I was quite happy with that. So what I'll do is I'll show you the Ash one first. Um, I'll take them out and show you as well, because of the glare. But there's the Dead Eye Ash, which is just absolutely amazing. And then on the back you've got the Necronomicon, and it says kiss your nerves goodbye. So we'll open him up and I'll show you, because I'll have him out the box with the others. I've got to try and figure out where I'm going to put them, because I don't know. I think I'm going to have to have a bit of a manoeuvre around again. Um, the Terminator figure is easy enough, I can stick him on the wall. 
But these guys, you can't exactly stick these on the wall, which is, you know. Anyway, they, 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 they look awesome in the box, but these look so much better out of the box. Um, I love the detail on this figure. It's just such a, oh well, this doll, I love the detail on him. Um, it's also got as well, which is really, really cool. Let me get it out and show you. It's got, it's got a little Necronomicon with it as well, which is really, really awesome. Um, the normal ash is basically, looks you know, it's exactly the same as this, but instead of having the white eyes, um, it's got normal eyes. I think it's, I think it might have the chainsaw and the, maybe have the boomstick, I don't know. This one just literally comes with the Necronomicon, so let me get that out as well. Oh, you can't open it, so there we go. We have the little Necronomicon, which is really cool. I mean, the, oh, sorry, there you go. The detail on it is really, really good. Um, really impressed with that. That looks so cool. And then we come to the doll himself. There he is, had the box. I mean, just look at the detail. I mean, the hair's really cool, and you've got the marks on his face and his eyes, and you've got the bits of dirt on his clothes, and it's just a really, really well-made figure. I mean, it, the arms move up, out. They move up like that. And again, that side. And the legs move back and forth, but it's a bit stiff at the moment. Um, the head moves up and down up and down and side to side the hair is really i need to sort the hair out because it's a bit flat so i'm going to fluff the hair up a little bit make it a little bit more there we go that's a little bit better because it's been in the box for a while it's the uh the hair's got flat so there that's better so there we go there's 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 ash did i ash um, I have actually got the uh, Necker figure up there somewhere. So yeah, I, I I really like this figure. I mean, it's a really badass figure. So, and then we come to this. I've been wanting this for a while. That's what it looks like in the box. Sorry about the glare. That's what it looks like on the back of the box. And we're going to take take him out as well. Because like I said again, he's going to be on, on show. Ash, you can go there a minute. And the Necronomic can go there as well. Being strangled by my new onesie. Got a, really, got a cool hood as well. So, let's take him out of the box. I hope everybody's doing okay today. Um, sorry the, there's not been many videos lately. Um... I haven't been feeling very well. Um, I've been feeling a bit meh, to be honest. Um, so that's why there's been no videos. Um, I've been getting quite a few views um, on my trade boxes, which has been really, really cool. The, the trade box I did with uh, Derek, the uh, Border Geek, you know, I've got 90 odd views on that, so that's really cool. Um, I've also picked up a, lo a few new subscri subscribers. So I really appreciate the people that have subscribed to me, you know, uh, thank you for that, that's awesome. Um, I'm now on 155 subscribers, which, you know, that still blows me away. I mean, you know, the fact that these people, these 155 people have decided to, you know, sub to my channel, which is, you know, mad. Um, the next unboxing, I'll get into this, the next unboxing I'll be doing will be my Fright Crate. That's on its way, I've had the email to say that's on its way. Really looking forward to that. There's an extra item in that box, which is really cool. That stinks. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. And I've, and I've ordered next month as well, because this month's sold out really, really quick. And I don't want it. I don't want to miss out on Fry Crate, because Fry Crate is my new favourite box. So let me just get this bad boy out. I this 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 doll is absolutely amazing i mean i i love absolutely everything i love the fact that there are real pins in that head i mean oh look at the look at that i mean just just look they are real pins and you know the, the this is all like silky and 
It hasn't exactly got, it hasn't got feet, which is a bit weird. So that's a bit strange. But you don't really care about that because, you know, you don't really see his feet anyway. So the fact is, it's like, it's like silk and then you've got the um, thing going through his stomach and his arms again, they move out, they move up, they move down, they move up, you know, the head. Not much, not much movement on the head, but it's stiff, so it moves back and forth, up and down. But yeah, so I'm not going to mess up too much because that's just cool. I love the eyes. The eyes are so they look dead. That's so cool. The fact that they're real pins is just amazing. So let me just get the. Uh, he got some really cool accessories with him. He's got the. Um, he's got his trademark knife. It's like saw blade knife, which is really cool. Um, he's got his other knife that he uses. Um, he's also got this one, which I've never seen before. But I mean, the detail on that that is just—it looks metal. You know, it looks metal. And of course, we have a little tiny lament configuration, which is pretty sweet. There it is, the lament configuration. He is supposed to be able to hold this in his hand. Um, let me see. There we go. I will tear your soul apart. I'm sorry about my really crappy uh, pinhead impression there, but you know, you know the you know how it goes. But this is, I mean, this is an amazing figure. I mean, the detail on it, the fact that he's got you know his blood on there and his stomach's twisted and and you know he's got the hooks in his head as well and. Amazing, absolutely amazing figure. I really like this figure. Um, also, they also had, which is really cool, um, the um, mess. The other Mesco um, Hellraiser figure, which is bigger than this, um, and that was fifty quid. So I do, I do want that, and I will get it eventually. Um, but at the, at the moment, these are the only two items that I picked up um, there are I have my I have got um, some stuff coming from eBay as well um, I picked up a couple of bargains on eBay um, the ones already on its way so I'm really looking forward to that coming um, so I'll be doing a, I'll do an unboxing for that when that gets here um, yeah I'll do an unboxing for when that gets here um, and obviously, like when I get my uh, fried crate, I'll do the uh, unboxing for that as well. So yeah, um, like I said, I hope everybody's doing okay. Um, again, you know, sorry for the lack of videos. Um, there's going to be a change when it comes to the Resident Evil playthrough. Um, I've lost interest in playing it. Um, it's a bit of a ball ache to set the VR up and, and with my shoulder being as bad as it has as well it just it just really hurts too much so my grandson said he will carry that on if, if, if I want and so that will be carrying on uh, but it won't be me playing it it'll it'll be mostly be my grandson um, I don't actually know when that's gonna start um, but hopefully that'll be soon um, there will be other gameplay videos coming up there are some games that I have got some new games some new PC games I want to try out on the channel and see what you guys think there's a couple of new games on, on the channel on the uh, PC there's a couple of new games I've got on the PlayStation 4 that you know I want to do that I want to do on the channel as well um, and I'll note I'll try and get back into the gaming um, you know maybe towards the end of the week so, um, 
Oh, I just wanted to say as well, uh, while I've got people on, um, you, as you guys know, I'm a big, I'm a massive uh, Butch Butch Vision fan, Butch Von Dro fan. Um, I've got a lot of his pins, um, and he's become a really good friend of mine. Um, he and a director called Josh Hasty are, are making a film called Candy Corn. Um, the They've got a crowdfunding started at the moment. Um, I will leave the details in the description below. Go and check it out. If you're a horror fan, if you're a horror film fan, um, go and check it out. There's a there's a clip to the actual film. Um, it's going to be cool. The, uh, you can actually back the film as well, which is really cool. Um, you can... Um, uh, there are perks as well um, for the diff the amount of you know whatever money you want. I mean, and if you haven't got the money to 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 actual pledge, you can share it to get it out there. So if you don't, if you can't, you know, pledge any money for it, which is fair enough, share the hell out of it. Um, Butch needs this film. I mean, this film needs to be made. This film needs to be made awesome. Um, you know, like I said, Butch is a really cool guy. Um, become a really good friend. And I really want this film to uh, to be to succeed. So, like I said, I will leave all the script. I will leave all the details in the description below. Um, go to Candy Corn. Go and check it out. Um, and you know, if you want to back it, back it. That'd be cool. If you don't, could you just share it? That would be amazing. You know, the, let people know. Let let your friends know. Let your family know that if there's any horror fans out there. Let them know that this film's being made, um, and it's going to be badass. Anyway, guys, um, thank you for watching. Um, really appreciate you watching. Um, love you guys loads. Um, drop me a like on this video if you if you liked it. That really helps out the channel. Um, drop me a comment below. Let me know what you thought your favorite item was in my from a haul. Um, also drop me a comment below let me know if you're gonna go and check out candy corn and you know if you've um, had any deals with butch and whatever that'd be cool I'd like to you know talk in the um, comments below um, also if you haven't already if it's your first time to my channel subscribe click a subscribe button go and watch a couple of my other videos there might be something here that you like um, I do game videos I do unboxings I do um, movie, indie movie reviews, um, whole videos, you know, um, so yeah, you know, subscribe if you haven't already, um, and don't forget if you are subscribed to click the, uh, little, um, bell, so that then it'll tell you exactly when my new film, my new film, my new video is, is available for you to watch. So thank you guys again, I love you all. And I will catch you on the flip side. Wiley out.